Today is the fourth Sunday after Easter, the epistle of St. James the Apostle. Dear beloved, every best gift and every perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of lights, with whom there is no change nor shadow of alteration. For of his own will hath he begotten us by the word of truth, that we might be some beginning of his creature. You know, my dearest brethren, and that, that every man be swift to hear, but slow to speak, and slow to anger. For the anger of man worketh not the justice of God. Wherefore, casting away all uncleanness and abundance of naughtiness, with meekness receive the encrafted word, which is able to save your souls. Continuation of the Holy Gospel according to St. John. At that time, Jesus said to his disciples, I go to him that sent me, and none of you asketh me, Whither goest thou? But because I have spoken these things to you, sorrow hath filled your heart. But I tell you the truth, it is expedient, it is expedient to you that I go, for if I go not, the paraclete will not come to you. But if I go, I will send him to you. And when he is come, he will convince the world of sin and of justice and of judgment. Of sin, because they believe not in me. And of justice, because I go to the Father and you shall see me no longer. And of judgment, because the prince of this world is already judged. I have yet many things to say to you, but you cannot bear them now. But when he, the Spirit of truth, is come, he will teach you all truth. For he shall not speak of himself, but what things soever he shall hear, he shall speak. And the things that are to come, he shall show you. He shall glorify me, because he, hath, because he shall receive a mine, and shall show it to you. Father and the Son and the Holy Ghost, Amen. 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 Let every man be swift to hear, but slow to speak, and slow to anger. For the anger of man worketh not the justice of God. St. Augustine, in one of his sermons, talks about how to deal with anger. And he handled it this way. First of all, he looked at one of the episodes in the Gospel, which our Lord uh, calmed the storm. And we'll just recall that gospel because he explains it in detail to talk about the vice of anger. Particularly, say Matthew 8, 23 to 27, which is the following. When Jesus entered in the boat, his disciples followed him, and behold, a great tempest arose in the sea, so that the boat was covered with waves, but he was asleep. And they came to him and awakened him, saying, Lord, save us, we perish. And Jesus said to them, Why are you fearful, O you of little faith? Then rising up, he commanded the winds and the sea, and there came a great calm. But the men wondered, saying, What manner of man is this? For the winds, for the winds and the sea obey him. And this is the following of St. Augustine's sermon. I will, with God's help, help, speak to you on the part of the gospel that has just been read, and in its light I exhort you that you do not sleep in your hearts amid the storms and distresses of this world. Perhaps our Lord did not have power over death, nor had he sleep within his power. And it may be that sleep overpowered the omnipotent as he sailed upon the water. 
If you have so believed, then he sleeps in you. If Christ keeps watching you, your faith keeps watch. The Apostle St. Paul says in Ephesians 3.17 that Christ may dwell by faith in your hearts. Therefore, the sleep of Christ is also a sign of mystery. Those in the boat are those cross crossing the world upon the wood. Even this ship prefigures the church. And each soul is itself a world of God, and each one voyages within his own heart, nor is he shipwrecked if he, if he dwells on the things that are worthy. Have you received an insult? It is the wind. Are you provoked to anger? It is the buffeting of the waves. As the wind rises and the waves mount up, your ship is in peril. Your heart is buffeted by waves. Your soul is endangered. Swift on the insult, you are eager for revenge. And then you are revenged, and yielding to a new disaster, you are shipwrecked. And why? Because in you, Christ sleeps. What does this mean? In you, Christ sleeps. It means you have forgotten Christ. Then, awaken Jesus Christ, bring him to mind, and let Jesus Christ keep watch in you. Look upon him. What was it you, what was it you desired? To be revenged. Has it gone from your memory what our Lord said while they crucified him? Quotation from St. Luke, For Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. He who was sleeping in your heart sought not to be revenged. Awaken him, remember him. Remembrance of Jesus is remembrance of his words. And to remember our Lord is to obey him. And should Christ awaken in you, you will say to yourself, What kind of man am I that I should seek to be revenged? Who am I that I should utter threats against another? It may be that I shall die before I can be revenged. And when breathing my last, on fire with anger, thirsting for revenge, I go forth from this body. He will not receive me who desired no revenge. He will not receive me who said, quote, forgive and you shall be forgiven. Give and it shall be given unto you. Therefore will I bridle my anger and return to the peace of my heart. Jesus Christ commanded the sea, and there came a great calm. What have I said to you regarding anger? Observe in every temptation. A temptation arises, it is the wind. You are troubled, it is the waves. Awaken Jesus Christ, let him speak with you. Who is this? For the winds and the sea obey him. Who is this whom the sea obeys? The sea is his, and he made it. All things were made by him. Be then as the winds and the sea. That is, obey your Creator. When Jesus Christ spoke, the sea gave ear. And will you be deaf? The sea hears his voice, and the wind cease. And will, will you keep blowing? What do you mean? I keep on talking. I keep on doing. I keep on contriving. What is this but to keep on blowing? 
and refusing to be still at the command of Christ. Therefore, let the sea master you in this tempest of the heart. Yet since we are men, should the wind beat hard against you, and should it awaken passion in the soul, let us not lose hope. Let us awaken Jesus Christ, that we may sail on in peace and come safely home. Turning then to our Lord, our God, the Father Almighty, in pureness of heart, let us best, let us as best as we can give thanks with all our hearts, beseeching him that in his goodness he will graciously hear our prayers, and by his power drive evil from our thoughts and actions, increase our faith, guide our minds, grant to us his holy inspirations, and bring us to an unending joy through his Son, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Such are the words of St. Augustine. May he, his wisdom, who is father and doctor of the church, help all of us with this vice and all temptations. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost.